we're standing here in front of the uh, sand shaker on Pensacola Beach looking at some of these projects that we've completed on Pensacola Beach during this off season and we're going to talk about uh, some of the other projects that we're, we're looking to complete before the season kicks off really give these businesses a, a chance to recover from the events of the last year and hope that everyone comes out and uh, enjoys the beach and getting here a little bit quicker uh, no matter which mode of transportation they use so I'm joined with Christine Fanchi who's our our engineer, traffic engineer from Escambia County, uh, who's uh, helped with a lot of these projects, uh, came up with the ideas of a lot of these projects uh, last year that we've, we've now implemented. We're actually standing in, in one of these, which I know you're very excited about, and, and that's we've delineated the bike path and, and a walking path uh, for people as they, as they come down Fort Pickens Boulevard, and uh, including on the Bob Sykes Bridge. So, Let's talk a little bit about the dimensions of these and, and what, they, uh, what they're meant to do. So I'm really excited because um, there, we have a lot of infrastructure on the beach. We have our path along Fort Pickens as well as the path along Via de Luna, but we need to connect people to that. And so working with the commissioner, we were able to basically carve out space on the Bob Sykes Bridge. Um, we had about nine feet of shoulder there that we were able to carve out four foot for a bike lane and five foot for pedestrians. Um, it's delineated by bike delineators, uh, so it gives a vertical delineation to protect um, our vulnerable users on that shoulder now. And that now connects into the Pensacola Beach Boulevard bike lane, which we reinstated between the bridge and where we're standing, uh, so that you can safely connect walking or biking all the way to our beautiful beach. So I'm really excited about it. And then we'll, we're working on another project right now for the beach access road which is uh, it'll connect the Grand Marlin area, Lagunas, uh, to Quietwater parking lot. And uh, we hope to get that uh, complete by the off season. We've been pushing them hard. Um, but there'll be a, a bike path on that side as well. Or the multi-use path will, will go up that way. So they'll be able to use both sides of, of Pensacola Beach Boulevard. Uh, the other thing that we've done right now is for those that want to go towards Fort Pickens, uh, turn riding on a Fort Pickens, we've added 800 feet of right turn lane. Uh, we used the existing footprint of the, of the roadway to do that, so we just uh, repaved it and put some new lines down, and, and, and voila, we had 800 more feet of, of right turn lane. So that will allow those cars that are, that are coming down on Pensacola Beach Boulevard to, to turn right onto Pen, uh, to Fort Pickens Road, uh, hopefully not having to stop, and we get more cars on the island and, and through the intersection in a more timely manner. Uh, the other thing we've done is we've adjusted some of the, the exit of the Casino Beach parking lot behind me. Uh, it'll, it'll give a dedicated right turn lane for those that, that are, are making a right in one of the lanes and then they'll have some time to merge uh, in order to turn left. But uh, we think this will allow the outflow of the traffic uh, to, to move more freely and, uh, and, then, uh, and then get through the light and help keep the traffic moving uh, within the parking lot. Uh, as we mentioned the access road, uh, we're also going to install a U-turn uh, just south of the toll plaza. So talk a little bit of the benefits of, of a U-turn. Um, so this is, is, I think we say that it's a, it's a safer than a left turn, um, and, and we're not going to be allowing left turns where you can normally make a left turn right now as you come out in front of Lagunas, um, because uh, it, again, we've, we've, having the access road come all the way down, you'll, you'll, we're going to be forced to right turns to keep the track moving a little bit, but it's also safer. So let's talk right, a little bit about Right, so the that. issue we were having, I understood, was that there wasn't really area for people to queue up, right? So people were wanting to take a left, well it's actually safer and more efficient for people to come and take a right and go north and then make a U-turn. Uh, it's a safer movement for everyone and it keeps people kind of um, moving out of those areas along the east side of Pensacola Beach Boulevard. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna try it. Another good thing that um, to mention is that the projects, a lot of these projects were using paint and uh, temporary materials uh, to implement very quick projects so that we can see results quickly. Um, as you know, infrastructure projects usually take a very long time. And so to be able to come up with these ideas and be able to put them in the ground with just using paint and delineators, um, is, we're able to do it quickly and, and be able to test uh, these opportunities. So a lot of these projects are relatively inexpensive. Of course, the, the access road is a little bit more expensive. I, we've been working, uh, the Island Authority and Escambia County has been working on that, I think almost going on a decade now. So the fact that we uh, were able to bring this to fruition, uh, get it done, and also uh, in a constrained time frame so that we can, we can try to get it done before the season and not have the impact on everybody coming out here is, is great. But these others, um, they were done over a matter of weeks. Yeah. Again, relatively low cost, but we think they'll still have a, a big impact yeah. on moving people, moving cars, 
uh, in, a, in a safer manner. So we're, we're excited to have these and I hope that you enjoy them uh, when you come out here and visit Pensacola Beach, whether it be in that car, on foot, or by bike. My name is Carol Pulley, and I love bicycling. I think it's the way to go for transportation. My name is Susan Blyler, and I love biking also, and I think it's, we live in an area, a beautiful area, where we've got a lot of flat land, and I think more people should be biking. I think it's good for our health and good for, for the future. I thought they were great. When you're going by in the car, you don't realize how wide they are, but when you get on them, there's plenty of space. There's the space for walkers, I think five feet and four feet for the bicyclist. And, you, and then they have the delineators between you and the traffic. And I felt perfectly safe and they're smooth. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. I, I think that's great. Make sure you got gears. I didn't have gears to go up the <laughs> incline. <laughs>